All right, you know, something that's been on my heart uh, for several weeks, uh, going on a few months now, is that, uh, and you've been seeing this in the titles of my recent messages, or even f more than several months, but it's really been, you know, the Lord's really been kind of focusing me on, on this, on this subject here. And it's the supporters of the false teachers, the individuals who continue to aid and abed and totally, totally disregard and ignore scripture. The individuals who empower and give platforms to these uh, wolves in sheep's clothing, to these false teachers who are ministers of Satan. They're, they're dressed up as angels of light. They're goats amongst the sheep. They, they are the tares amongst the wheat. The individuals who they use the platform to not only mock God's name, but to use uh, the Lord's name as a prop for their own personal gain. In other words, they're modern day money changers. They monetize their, their messages, which uh, gives them a motive to come on camera once a day, twice a day, three times a day, four times a day. Because the more they come on, the more cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching in their bank account. So it's not about sharing truth. It's not about Jesus Christ. It's about their fame, their popularity, their butt slaps, uh, and, and the praises of men. And, and this is what we're seeing today. And so it's the followers who empower people like Tim Henderson, who tells his followers and, and, and tickles their itching ears by telling his listeners that all that they have to do is pray a one-time prayer and that's it. They don't have to follow Jesus. That's it. All I got to do is pray this prayer and the rest is just whatever, whatever. Just pray this prayer. It's a done deal. And you can live for the works of the flesh you can uh, 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 seek after your fleshly desires and ignore what uh, Paul says in Ephesians chapter, uh, excuse me, uh, Galatians chapter five, where he says, those who do such things shall, things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Speaking of those who walk in the works of the flesh, those who refuse the leading of the Holy Spirit in their life. Uh, Galatians 5, 18 goes on to say, if you're led of the spirit, you're not under the law. I'll, I'll, I'll just, and you've heard me say this many times before, I'll just simply say it like this. Individuals who reject the Holy Spirit's leading in their life, all the days of their life, are not saved. It's impossible. Look, we all have moments in time where we make bad judgments and we fall down. And then the Holy Spirit quickens us and convicts us and we get up and, and, and we, we continue to press on. But then you have these individuals who they live an entire life of rejecting and ignoring Christ Jesus. They just pray to prayer. That's it. They're not Holy Spirit led. They're never convicted of their sins. They never repent. And this is a, a, a great example. Uh, the Todd Napier, who's been, this is so fascinating. You know, I, I listened to, to Brother Drew bring this up this the other night. Uh, because he uh, kind of sh shined a light on him. Thank God. Uh, more people need to be. More people need to shine a light on this individual here. Now, I, I want to take this just a step farther. Th this individual's been on YouTube for nine years, preaching the Word of God nine years. And if it's my understanding, if I'm correct here, he's been married in those nine years three different times. If I'm correct. Three different times while this individual has been preaching the word of God, multiple affairs, and he keeps and see, this is the classic narcissist right here. This is the class, this is a classic definition of narcissism. If you if you just grab a dictionary and look up uh the term narcissism and narcissist, you will see that this is classic. It's textbook narcissism for an individual to just 
spin or do the reverse psychology and they play the victim card. Somehow that they're the victim that they've cheated on multiple individuals, multiple spouses. They're, they're being persecuted because folks are calling out their error and sin. They're being rebuked. They're, see, it, you know, this is what scripture tells us in, in 2 Timothy 4 2. To preach the word, to be instant in season, out of season, to reprove, rebuke, and exhort. Not exhort, exhort, exhort. It says to reprove, rebuke, and exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. So that is part of our jobs as followers of Jesus Christ is to issue rebukes when individuals are in error. So nine years, this individual has been a cheater. And the whole nine years, while he's actively been a cheater, he's been preaching the word of God. And then we got these followers who continue to support this because he would not be around today if it wasn't for the support, if it wasn't for the followers. And let me let me say this. Judgment, God's judgment is coming to the followers who continue to aid in the bad, who continue to enable evil, to prop up and lift up evil, to help others deceive folks. The supporters are, are enabling this and pushing this forward. This, the supporters are the fuel to the fire, the fuel to the deception. Because without the supporters, individuals like Tim Henderson, individuals like Todd Napier, individuals like Scotty Clark, who just a few months back came on camera and told his viewers and listeners that James was a false teacher. Because what he said was that James was preaching works of law. Which would make Paul, excuse me, which which would make James a false teacher. And his and his instead of his followers rebuking and correcting him, his followers continued to uh, give him praise, give him accolades, and enable him to continue on in his deception. They tried to turn a blind eye, like no big deal, nothing to see here. It's the same. See, this really started with Joel Osteen. It really kicked in the high gear with Joel Osteen years back when he came on Larry King Live on CNN and, and, and basically stated that there were more than one way to heaven. There were multiple ways to heaven. And you would have thought that this church, Lakewood Church, would have withered up and dried up and withered away. But instead, the support continued on. And the people who have deep wallets who continue to pour money into people who do who, who do things like this. Hear me when I say this. God's judgment is speedily on the way. I'm speaking to the supporters here. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really not I, I'm not going to say a, another word to these uh, uh, individuals who come on camera and do this because they've made up their mind. These false teachers have made up their mind. Uh, like like Chelsea Bedell, who continues to come on camera in a bathrobe full of a Jezebel spirit and deceiving and leading folks astray, supporting this once prayed, always saved doctrine from hell. And they're all yoked up together. Chelsea Bedell and Todd Napier and Scott Clark and Tim Henderson and Here's another one. The lady in the blue jean jacket. She calls herself Gigi. And she comes on camera. Come and hear me when I say this. She comes on camera visibly stoned. Visibly under the influence of foreign uh, substances. But yet, see, it doesn't it, it doesn't matter to the followers. The followers want to keep on encouraging this. And pouring fuel in the fire. Because it doesn't matter to the followers that uh, the many are being led astray by these kind of people. It doesn't matter to the followers. See, if, let me say another thing. If the followers really love their teachers. if Because they always you always hear these people talk about love, love, love. Well, if you really loved your teacher that you watched, then you would call out their error. 
you would you would sound the alarm and warn them that their house is on fire and that they're on the way to damnation if you really love because you talk about love so much you would warn your 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 teacher that they're on the way to damnation but here's the deal you don't really love them you just love to have your flesh uh, gratified and satisfied this is what it's all about it is stunning and shocking the people who support these these individuals it's stunning and shocking that this continues on but on the other side of this it really shouldn't be a surprise because the warning was given to us in scripture. See, God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man sows, that shall he reap. If you sow to the spirit, you will reap uh, life, everlasting life. If you sow to the flesh, you will reap death and corruption. Now, you can try to spin this and, and say, I prayed a one-time prayer and I believe in a God somewhere over the rainbow. I prayed a prayer five years ago, 20 years ago, 80 years ago, and I can live the way I want. You, we, you can spin that all the way you want, but here it is. God says he's not mocked. He's God is watching the way you live. God is watching the way I live. God is watching the way we live. And Jesus didn't leave us here alone. He left us with his very Holy Spirit. And it's our choice whether we want to allow the Holy Spirit to fill and indwell us or are we going to push him away? And many, as you see here on social media, they've chosen to push the Holy Spirit away. They have a form of godliness and Paul warned us of this. They have a form of outward godliness, outward appearance, but they deny the power. I prayed the prayer, I claim Jesus, but I deny his very Holy Spirit from leading and guiding my walk. This is the separation of the wheat and the tares, the goat and the sheep, the wolves in sheep's clothing, those who come dressed as an angel of light, but in actuality, they're just, they're just workers of Satan. This is the separation right here. Those who allow the Holy Spirit to lead their walk and those who just want to give lip service and that's it and use the gospel to make money. That's a staple of a false teacher. It's all about money, attention, fame, notoriety, and most of all, butt slaps in the comment section. I want to take you here and I'm going to read this verse out of three different translations. Because I want this to settle uh, in your hearts. I want this to settle in your hearts. I want you to really get an understanding of this. So I'm going to read this out of three different translations and I'll end the message tonight. But I want to say this one more time because tonight is the night. Today is the day. This is the hour right now to repent, to turn away from the clicks, to stop being yoked up with individuals who care nothing about Jesus Christ, who have no love for Jesus Christ, who are not on fire for Jesus Christ, who are not led by the Holy Spirit. It's, today's the day to no longer be yoked up with these kind of individuals and continue to support them financially, support them by your likes, by your shares, by the views that you give them. Today's the day to no longer support this. Today's the day to turn to Jesus Christ. Let me take you to 2 Timothy 4, 3. Now, I just quoted to you 2 Timothy 4, 2, which says to preach the word, to be instant in season, out of season, to reprove, rebuke, and exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Now, I'm, I'm reading this out of the King James Version, and then I'll uh, read next out of the New Living Translation, and then the Amplified Version. This is the King James Version here, 2 Timothy 4.3, uh, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust, they shall heap to themselves teachers, having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. They shall heap unto themselves 
teachers. Teachers. This is what is happening right here on YouTube. Folks are running to YouTube to hear another teacher tell them what they want to hear. Don't tell me to repent. Don't tell me to, depart, to depart fornication and adultery. Don't tell me to get out of my sexual sin. I don't want to hear that. I want to hear you tell me that all I have to do is pray this prayer and I can uh, continue to press on eastbound and down in my sin. 2 Timothy 4, 3 out of the New Living Translation. Those of you who are King James only, uh, feel free to turn off the video. Verse three, for the time is coming when people will no longer listen to right teaching. We know that time is now. They will follow their own, not the, not the Holy Spirit, not the Spirit of Jesus Christ. No, they will follow their own desires and will look for teachers who will tell them whatever they want to hear. They will follow their own desires and will look for teachers who will tell them whatever they want to hear. Can somebody say YouTube? Verse four, they will reject the truth and follow strange myths. Now, I'm not done here. That was the New Living Translation. Now, I want to quote to you out of the Amplified Version. So first, I quoted this to you out of the King James Version, then the New Living Translation. And now I want to take you to the Amplified Version. Now, sometimes you do hear me quote scriptures out of what is called the Classic Amplified Bible. That was the Amplified Bible that was pretty much uh, before the one I'm quoting out of right now. For those of you who may have been wondering. But this is the amplified version here. 2 Timothy 4, 3. Now these are all correctly uh, interpreted here. Translated, excuse me. These are all correctly uh, translated. Because we're, see we're, we're literally seeing this word for word happening right before our eyes. And today's the day to wake up to it, right? Verse 3, Amplified Version. For the time will come when people will not tolerate sound doctrine and accurate instruction that challenges them with God's truth. I don't want to be challenged. Don't challenge me. Don't, don't tell me to come out of my error or out of my fornication. I don't want to hear that. I'm just going to do what I want to do, whatever feels right with me. Don't tell me that. Don't challenge me. I don't want to be challenged. Stop bothering me with the Holy One of Israel, right? Just as Isaiah said that the people would say in Isaiah chapter 30, that's what he said. He, he spoke of a time when people would say, stop bothering us with the Holy One of Israel. But let me continue on here. But wanting to have their ears tickled with something pleasing, they will, listen to this, they will accumulate for themselves many teachers, one after another, chosen to satisfy their own desires and to support the errors they hold. And will turn, verse four, and will turn away their ears from the truth and will wander off into myths and man made fictions and listen to this and will accept the unacceptable judgment is speedily on the way to those who continue to prop up these false teachers who who then go on, who proceed to go on to deceive the masses. It's all about the followers. It's all about those who continue to prop these people. It's all about you people, you people who keep clicking the like button and enabling that YouTube algorithm to spread the message of Satan, to spread these lies, 
to share these people's videos. You folks, God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man sows, that shall he reap. We sow to the spirit, we will reap uh, everlasting life. If we sow to the flesh, we will reap death and corruption. No ifs, no ands, no buts about it. Today is the day to turn to Jesus Christ, to give our lives to Christ. Few will do it because that path is, it's a narrow road. Few will do it. We, we know that few will do it, but will you be that one who goes against the grain today? Will you be that one who finds the courage in Christ Jesus and be empowered by his Holy Spirit to say, you know what? I'm going to be that peculiar one. I'm going to be that one who goes against the flow. I'm going to be that one who rocks the boat. I'm going to be the nail that sticks out, who says, I don't have to go with the flow and do what everyone else is doing. I'm going to be bold like a lion. Instead of being the cowardly lion, I'm going to be that bold lion that Proverbs talks about, that the righteous are as bold as a lion. Today is the day to make the choice.